Okay, this is where the rubber hits the road. Now, a lot of people, particularly veterans, have been asking, well, why are we choosing Seismic? And I might notice there's a new, uh, there's a slightly new update. Not too many changes, but a lot of stability enhancements, which is great. Now, this is where it brings home all the bacon. This is why I chose Seismic over uh, TweetDeck in particular, because of this. Now, typically, most of you at the moment would just have this. This is the Ed Dale account. Um, so that's the Ed Dale Twitter account, and you wouldn't have any of these other accounts here. You might remember we set up Ed Dale Strat when we were first showing you how to do Seismic. Here's the cool part. If we click Add here, and now I've already added my Facebook account, so I can't do it again. If I click Add the account, and you, the button will come up here, and you put in your username and password, then all of a sudden in the one spot, both your Twitter and your Facebook messages get put in Seismic. So you can separate them out so they're separate. So here's Twitter, here's Facebook, or you can click on the Home tab up here and you just get both in one stream. It's very, very cool. And what is fantastic is if I see something in Facebook, now TweetDeck, yes, of course, it, it does allow you to uh, import your Facebook friend's Facebook status information. But what it um, doesn't do is allow you to do this. If you click on the arrow. Oh, first of all, if you just want to like the item, you can just click on like. And you've already done the like, which is fantastic. So I don't have to go to Facebook to keep on tabs. I just need the one tool open on my desktop to do both, which is really, really cool. But there's more. Click this. If we click View for Details. Now, if there were comments here, we would be able to check out the comments. Or we could add our own comment. There's one that's just come in. And my comment will be added there, which is superb. And then we can just click back to the timeline and it takes us back to where you're at. Now, just one thing to watch at the moment, and I hope they fix this shortly with Seismic. Notice it's taken us back to the Facebook account. If you want to see your Facebook and your Twitter, you have to always remember to hit the home. And we've got Twitter all in the one application and you can operate completely inside Seismic, you don't have to go to all those different pages and all those different apps, and that's going to save you an enormous amount of time down the road. So there you have it. So hopefully, now in Seismic, you've got Twitter and you've got Facebook. Fantastic. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Speak soon.